to heaven and it was quite interesting what I saw. I went to heaven and I saw something that was quite interesting. Hi there guys, it's Robert, an ambassador for Christ. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you want to grow in your understanding, knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. You know, if you want to catch me on Facebook or WhatsApp, or if you want to donate and, or support the ministry, then you can catch me. I mean, you can, all, the, all the information is in the description down below. Listen, it's deep, right? Um, I went to heaven and what I saw was quite interesting. Now, I pray in tongues, I pray in the Holy Ghost. Most of you probably switched off right then. <laughs> That's cool. Because the Bible says, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> it doesn't say that. But <laughs> so anyway, as I was praying in tongues for about an hour, as I was praying in tongues, all that good stuff, and all that, all that good stuff, I appeared, I was in heaven, I saw heaven, I went into heaven. And I saw this room. It was like a hall with lots of light coming into it. Like a room with a glass roof. And it was all light coming through this roof. It was quite amazing. And when the light was coming through, it was like um, a rainbow. When it hit the floor, it was like rainbows. You could see rainbows. And I saw a pathway, like a, an aisle going down the middle. And there was a throne at the end. All right. And I saw angels standing at the side. There's a, there must have been about 30 angels, 40 angels, standing <clears throat> at the side of this aisle. Just standing there. And like... So there's angels here, angels here, an aisle, and at the end of the aisle, there was a throne. And I must have been standing about here, all right? And as I was standing there, I saw God walk through the door or walk from this side. Yeah, it was like a door walking from this side here. And the angels hit the floor on their knee, boom. As soon as God come walking through, bang, all the angels Bent, bent, they bent on their knees and bowed before the Lord. Quick, pow! Now, and then I saw God walk past them all with his head straight and sat down on the throne. All right? Then the angels stood up. Now, I perceive, see, in heaven, you don't have, it's not like you see things. You do, you can, you see things with your eyes, obviously, but it's more of, of a perception. You perceive a lot of things. When you're in heaven, you can perceive your perception grows. The Bible says that the Lord, when Jesus Christ was walking on the earth, it says that he perceived the thoughts of their hearts. He perceived it. It's like a, it's a sense that you have when you're operating it, when you're in the heavenly realm. It's a sense you perceive. So I perceive that these angels were standing there for a long time. They were waiting for a long time. Interesting. But... As I say, I was still, obviously, I'm seeing this vision. I'm still praying in tongues. I can still see this vision. I can still see this. I'm still there. And I'm still praying in tongues. Looking, I can see this. Then God, I see God do this. He started pointing like that. He pointed. And the angels went bang. They just, they, 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 they just disappeared. Pow. That was a sound. Like, that's the only sound I could really make was pow. And they went, wow. And they were gone to the earth, to the earth realm. Now, I saw angels appear, I saw an angel appear inside an office and he was speaking to a person. There was a person by a desk and the angel was speaking to this person. And the person at the desk, obviously he doesn't know it's an angel speaking to him, or was it, yeah, to him. Um, he went to a, a pile of papers and instead of taking the paper from the top, he took the paper from the middle. And it was a CV. He started reading the CV, okay? Then I see him reach for the phone. But then I saw a sister sitting in her room on her knees praying. And the phone was ringing. So obviously, that, per that sister was in, the, was in the room praying for a job. And the, the CV was actually taken. This, this was on, um, when this happened? This happened on Thur Wednesday or Thursday? If it was you, I saw what happened. <laughs> if it was you, tell me in the conversation, tell me in the con in the. Um, the, 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 uh, the description, I'm uh, not description, in the comments down below, leave a comment if it was you that was praying for a job and you got a phone call on where's your Thursday, I think it was for a job. Because I saw the guy take the, take the CV out of a pile and it was your name and he phoned you up. <laughs> Powerful. So I was seeing these things. I've seen angels going out into the earth realm delivering people. And God was showing me that when I was praying in the Holy Spirit, it was releasing angels to do things. 
They were waiting around. As I was praying, these spirits of these angels were being released and they were out there and they were um, delivering God's messages. They were moving underneath um, God's command quite deep. That's what I saw in, when I was in heaven. Now, I've been in heaven loads of times. I've seen loads of things in heaven, <clears throat> things that make you shudder because heaven is open. And the way I, there's, there's a few ways to get into heaven. One of them is praying in tongues. If you've got the gift of the Holy Spirit and you pray in tongues, oh my, pray in tongues every day, half an hour or an hour, and you'll start having open visions, heavenly visions. You'll start seeing all sorts of spiritual things, spiritual activity, things, crazy things start happening in your life. It's powerful. That's one way to get to heaven. Another way to get into the throne room of God and see God on his throne, worship. Woo! When you start worshiping, you will get into the throne room. You will get into the heavenlies. You will ascend into heaven to the throne room of God. What is worship? Telling God who he is. He's awesome. He's mind, he's, he's mind blowing. Lord, you're awesome. You're wonderful. You're high lifted up. You're, you're awesome. You're powerful. All powerful. All knowing, Lord. I worship you, Lord. You're beautiful. You're holy. You're worshipping. We do that. God is attracted to that. The Bible says in John um, 4, 3, uh, in chapter 4, 23, 24, that the Lord is seeking those that worship him, okay? He's looking for worshippers. So when you worship, it brings the presence of God into that, into your place and you will start seeing things in the heavenlies. It's deep. <clears throat> anyway, I digress there. Don't know why I said that. But seek after the Holy Ghost. Seek after praying in tongues. There's people out there that say, oh, praying in tongues is, is the Kundalini spirit. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that's right. There is a Kundalini spirit. There is people speaking in demonic tongues. That's right. But the tongues I'm talking about is not no Kundalini tongues, nothing. This is heavenly tongues. Ones where you pray in the Holy Spirit and you're getting words of wisdom from God, words of knowledge. You're moving in the power of God. You're moving in prophecy. You're moving in the gifts of healing. You're moving in the gifts of discernment of spirit. <clears throat> that does not happen when you have a Kundalini spirit. Trust me. The demonic activity will build up in your life. But when you have the Holy Ghost, the heavenly tongue, the heavenly um, language, our language that, that God has given to us, our heavenly language, our original language, the language that God has restored, the Holy Spirit has given to us to, and restored it. When you start talking in that, woo, your life will start to change. I'm telling you that right now. And I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to do a training on praying in tongues and I'm going to start talking about it, a little training for those who are seeking after it, those who want to move in that. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm here to help you. I've got some tips, some help, some encouraging words to help you do that because God wants you to have heavenly visions. God wants you to move in the supernatural and in power because I can guarantee you right now that if you don't pray in tongues, there's a big um, chance that you don't operate in the other eight gifts of the Spirit either. I don't know. I, I've never seen people move in the power of prophecy and of um, words of wisdom and healing and all this stuff here who don't pray in tongues. I don't think I'll come across anybody that does that. Um, anyway, I might, um, you, might, you might prove me wrong, I don't know. They might have move about moving it a little bit, but I mean, I mean moving the power of the Holy Ghost. In the nine gifts, moving in power daily. Words of wisdom, words of knowledge, flowing like a river. I don't know anybody that, that, who doesn't pray in tongues that moves in, who moves like that. I really don't. But I could be wrong, you could probably could prove me wrong, and that would be great. But anyway, I digress. It's Robert an Ambassador for Christ. Um, you know, that was that was what I saw in heaven that I thought was quite interesting. And that was, there was angels waiting around for us to, to you know, waiting for God to come and, and start to tell him what to do for us praying. Anyway, it's Robert an Ambassador for Christ. Um, if you want to catch me on Facebook or WhatsApp, or if you want to donate to the ministry or support the ministry or become a partner to the ministry, I always need partners because I want to go full time. Anyway, you can, all the information is in the description down below. I shall see you guys on the next video. Stay blessed.